Hello everybody, my name is Eric Weyer from Between the Bolter and Me, and today I'm here with another unboxing uh, video, this time of Games Workshop's newest sort of limited uh, release of the Imperial Space Marine, which is actually a sort of promotional model that they released to celebrate 30 years now of Space Marines. and. This particular model was only released and sold for actually just two days last weekend, um, just on Saturday and Sunday, although to be honest they sold out pretty quickly such that they weren't even being actually sold on Sunday, but I was fortunate enough to be able to order one for the brief time that they were on or available on Games Workshop's website, but yeah, so this you can see here is just a nice little box of the model themselves and with in the background kind of the old rogue trader artwork of the crimson fists there but see just a small box here and you can see that yeah some pictures of various angles of the marine and uh, sort of a nice touch here they actually have a picture of the model that the this particular one was based on which is actually the very first uh, Space Marine Games Workshop ever released which is yeah, just a, one of their um, pewter sort of models here and you can see that the new one is actually pretty similar to the this older original one just um, the proportions are done a little bit better and to be a little bit more in line with the kind of current Space Marine aesthetics but it still does uh, retain a lot of the details here, a similar sort of gun here, as well as these sort of interesting um, knee guards and shoulder pads, the sort of pyramidal shape. Um, but, yes, yeah, so I guess I'll just get to opening this model here and we can see what's, uh, see what's inside. But, yes, yeah, so let's get this here. You know, I kind of, I, I guess I appreciate that they're having this limited edition sort of stuff, which <laughs> admittedly it will probably be sold at some other point in the future. That tends to be what GW does. But it still seems a little bit unfortunate that they sold all the models out so quickly. I imagine there'll be a lot of people who would still like to get a copy of the model and will have to just resort to buying them on eBay which is sort of a shame because this does seem to be a pretty neat model okay so inside here we just have this little black insert plastic insert with the model themselves and here's a little instructional thing here with the I guess the rules for the marine themselves let's see here and then the actual instructions of how to put the model together and yeah as per GW sort of newer instruction is they're quite a bit better which they're colored and have various icons to kind of guide you where you should put the glue and the order to assemble things which is yeah uh, much improved from some of their earlier instruction manuals and such but yeah, and then yeah, here's the rules, which seems to be pretty interesting. A model that you can actually include for free as one of your Space Marines, just inside any Space Marine army. And he actually has this um, disintegration combi gun, which, unlike most combi weapons, this one actually can be continually used, which is, is kind of neat. But, so I guess we can set this side here and actually look at the model themselves, which... Yeah, it's just kind of like most of their other clam pack releases, just a single sprue here, and then just their standard 32mm base, or the new standard 32mm base for Space Marines, but yeah, so just a single sprue here, which let me zoom in a little bit, and yeah, so you can see that the actual body of the marine is kind of body and legs are sort of broken in half here 
um, kind of in their traditional way of sort of cutting up the models in sort of weird ways but then he has his disintegration rifle here with a kind of a combat knife attached fixed like a dagger um, and if we turn it over here you can see the little disintegration pistol which looks kind of like a modification of one of the sort of more traditional bolt pistols but and I kind of think the backpack here is neat it sort of looks a little bit like some of the older design backpacks but it has these sort of ventings sort of turned up which is an interesting touch and just gives it sort of its own uh, unique flair seems they also have an additional shoulder pad one with just a little circular indent here for you to put like a chapter symbol just a plain one and then the kind of standard studded shoulder pad which I think is a nice touch because I feel I very much associate um, the studded kind of design with some of the older Space Marines but then he kind of he has this beaky helmet design but with um, this sort of um, cabling attached to his um, mouth it's very similar to the actually that original model but then you can see the actual body here also has a series of uh, one cable on this side and I believe yeah here's the other side of the body it goes up and attaches um, into the backpack here which sort of gives a more uh, depth to the model but yeah the model I don't know pretty simple here um, but I'm pretty excited to actually put the put them together and uh, hopefully have some pictures here to show you which I'll put up on the blog and with a little luck maybe even we'll be able to paint this little guy and um, yeah so I don't know I could see if Games Workshop re-releases them again maybe trying to get another copy of them because I'd like to probably just assemble this one just you know stock but it would also be kind of neat to be able to use one in a conversion or something but you know well I guess we'll see but yeah so I guess that's it for this unboxing video I actually ordered a copy of um, their I guess what is it called Codex Apocrypha which they released kind of alongside this marine that just gives a lot of old sort of rogue trader and second edition era information about space marines and such so hopefully I'll get that shortly here and maybe be able to show you guys that a little bit as well through maybe a video and on the blog but I guess um, until next time thanks for watching and uh, keep uh, viewing visiting the blogs continually update it and otherwise just continue to enjoy the hobby and I'll talk to you next time